Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So first of all, I hope you guys are safe kung nasan man kayo. And I suggest na just do our part simply by staying at home. With this, we can help lessen the spread of the virus and hope that this will all be over. Chill lang yung gagawin kong video today. I'm going to share with you my updated everyday makeup routine. And medyo mahaba tong video na to kasi marami akong mga sinama na tips and mga techniques to share with you as well. Gagawin ko siyang step by step and I hope you guys try it and sana ma-apply nyo rin siya sa everyday routine nyo. So if you wanna recreate the look, don't forget to post a selfie and tag me on Instagram so I can see it as well. Okay, going straight to the makeup routine. First, I moisturize my face using Madeka Suicide Sika Cream from Carrot. You only need a little, as in sobrang konti lang. Ayan, ganyan lang ka konti yung kailangan. And then just spread all over the face. The key is to moisturize your face before applying your makeup. Para pagdating ng hapon or after ng araw mo, hindi siya sobrang cake. Hindi siya nakikake. Hindi, hindi nagdadry yung face mo. And then extend to your neck. Next is BB cream. And, and dito, so mga everyday na makeup na ginagamit ko, hindi siya nakatago sa mga drawers ko and hindi siya like nakapatong lang dito sa desk ko. What I do is, I place it in a makeup kit like, like this. Tapos, nandito na lahat na yung ginagamit ko for everything. Para pag kunwari, ito yung set na makeup na gusto kong gamitin. I just put everything here. And I just put everything here. Para kapag ka morning, mabilis lang, 10-15 minutes lang ako nagme-makeup. Kung ano yung nandito, yun na yung gagamitin ko for the whole thing. Wait, so another thing kung bakit ko siya nilalagay sa isang kit. Since marami nga akong makeup na ano, parang minsan nakakalimutan ko na, ah, may ganito pala akong foundation or may, may ganito akong certain powder na hindi ko nagagamit. And yun, yun yung na-figure out ko na way para magamit ko din lahat ng makeup na nasa stash ko. Every week or every two weeks, I switch up kung ano yung nandito sa makeup kit. For my current makeup, BB cushion ang gamit ko. So here it is. This is the Teach C Honey Glow Cover Cushion in number 3 Sand. Nakalimutan ko pala si Bian. So every morning, um, before ako mag-moisturize, I make sure na nagsa-sunscreen muna ako. So my current sunscreen is from Celatec. This is the matte moisturizer with SPF 30. Going back to my base, this also has SPF 50 plus PA triple plus. First, akala mo maputi yung BB cream sa'yo. Pero after a while, it will set sa skin tone ko. Para ang puti niya sa face ko. Camera, oh my gosh. I'm going to blend it. Gagamitin, gagamit lang ako ng flat top brush to blend everything. Maganda siya in person, pero I didn't notice na sobrang parang ang puti niya sa camera. Next is concealer. Today, ang gagamitin kong concealer is Infallible Full Wear Concealer. And alam ko maputi ito sa akin eh, pero I mean, we'll make it work. So, nilalagay ko muna siya sa hand ko. Like that. And then, and I just use my ring finger and tap. Okay. 
grabe tong concealer na to. As in, magsistay siya all day. Lalo na kapag kasinat mo siya ng maayos. Blend it down. Konti lang din yung kalangat yung magagamit mo sa concealer na to. And then, whatever is left on your finger, I just spread it here. Pag ganun. Kasi nga ayoko yung parang may triangle lang na nagsa-stop or may circle na pag ganun. May semi-circle na nasa ilalim ng eye. So, kailangan mo siya i-blend ng mabuti sa edges. May natira pa tayo na concealer. So, yung natira, gagamitin ko siya here. Konti lang. Super konti. Para maging lifted yung part na to. Tapos, mag-extend din ako here sa middle. As in, super sa gitna lang ng nose. Para ito sa tip. Tapos sa gitna. It will act as my highlight then. You have to be careful in placing the concealer dito sa nose kasi if hindi mo siya ma-blend ng maayos, baka mag-cake up lang siya. And hindi mo naman gusto na yung buong nose yung naka-concealer. So, you have to be careful na ilalagay mo siya sa middle. Here also. And then last area. Here is the chin. Bakit? Because my face is round and I wanted to elongate my face this way. Hold on. So, I highlight ko yung chin ko tsaka yung dito sa part na to. Yung illusion ng face parang, uy, hindi siya bilog. <laughs> Pag sa umaga, mabilis lang to promise. Like, it takes practice. It it will take you... Siguro kung ginagawa mo siya everyday and kung ina-incorporate mo na din siya sa daily makeup routine mo, mabilis na lang yan. Trust me. Next is setting your concealer, especially your under eye area. If you don't set your under eye area, magka-crease yung eye siya. Yung... Magka-crease lang yung concealer na nilagay mo. And the loose powder that I'll be using for today is CoverGirl Clean Professional Loose Powder. This powder is just translucent, kaya hindi na siya mag ng extra coverage sa face. There. Sinasama ko yung dito sa pinapatungan ng glasses. Magta-transfer sa glasses ko yung makeup. Kaya kailangan mo siya iset ng maalas. I'll just zoom you guys in para makita nyo kung paano ko ginagawa yung everyday brows ko. From the face shop, yung designing eyebrow pencil crayon na yung retractable tapos may kasamang spoolie sa kabila. And then yung ginagamit ko na shade, yung gray brown, number 2 gray brown. Okay, first, I brush it up. Oops. I line yung sa baba. Okay, this, I'm not saying na ito yung proper way to do your brows, pero this is just how I do it for my everyday look. And ito na rin kasi yung nakasanayan ko. And dito ako mabilis. That's why ito ginagawa ko. May pinalitan lang ako na settings para hindi maging sobrang bright ng face ko. Kaya pala, ano, kaya pala yung itsura sa camera, yung BB cream ko kanina sobrang puti. I think because dun sa settings. Next, I fill up yung gitnang part here. And light strokes lang yung gagamitan mo. As in, ganun. Kailangan nyo siya i-brush from time to time para makita mo 
what you're working with and kung ano yung parts na siya na-shape mo. And then, dito sa dulo na part, yun yung ilalayan ko ulit. And then, I move up here. Tapos, ilalayan ko din yung dulo, yung edge. And then, fill in. And then, for this inner part, kailangan super light hand lang yung gagamitin mo para hindi siya magmukhang isang buong line na kilay. Kailangan medyo feathered yung part na to. brush this part. See. There. Ay, ang feeling ko, hindi na ko marunong mag-makeup. Everyday makeup look na nga lang yung pinili ko na gawin today. Kasi, ngayon lang ulit ako magsistart ulit mag-film mag ng yung bagong videos. So, sabi ko, okay, kailangan mga madali muna bago ako mag-challenge. Bago ko i-challenge yung sarili ko. Pero since one month ako hindi nag-makeup, parang hindi ko pa siya gamay. Next, I'm going to set my whole face using the same powder. Um, today, I'm going to use Sunny's Face Life Brow. Para yung hairs ng eyebrow mo nakataas. I bring back color to my face with some contour powder or bronzing powder. I'm going to use Self Beauty Glam Up Bronzing Powder and this is in the shade number 1 Americano. Tapos gumagamit lang ako ng fluffy na parang angled block, angled brush and then I contour. I know some of my friends are asking me kung nagko-contour ako everyday. Magugulat sila, bakit ako nagko-contour everyday? For me naman, um, it's okay as long as you don't overdo it. Gusto ko tong bronzer na to actually kasi parang it's dark enough na magko-contour niya yung face mo but it's not super super dark na hindi mo siya nakokontrol yung pigment. Kaila, pwede mo siyang ma-layer on para makuha mo yung parang feathered look. Okay, so una pala, nalagay ko yung contour ko here. So, kailangan mo i-blend. You have to make sure na kapag ka nagko-contour ka, to, to make it look natural looking. Wait, kanina pa ako naglalagay. Kailangan mo siyang i-blend dito sa, dito, sa hairline mo here, sa may ears. Doon ako nagsistart yung siya dito, tapos binibring down ko siya. Pero hindi ako mag exceed dito. Like, hanggang dito lang. Yun lang. Kasi yun lang naman yung natural na shadow sa face mo eh. Hanggang dito lang. Ang pangit naman kung yung contour mo nandito na. It's important then na uh, kapag ka nagko-contour ka ng jawline mo, you don't do this. Hindi ka gaganyan. Kasi hindi ka naman nagko-contour I mean, hindi ka naman nakikita ang maglalakad ng tao na kaganyan. So, paano mo makikita yung shadow? You have to make sure na you look straight. And then, you do your... Makikita mo kung nasan yung shadow na natural. When you're blending also, kailangan hindi ka heavy-handed na as in ginaganan mo yung ano, brush sa face mo. Kailangan soft lang. 
And then, dito sa double chin area. And then, whatever is left sa brush ko, I put it here. Since bilog na yung face ko, gusto ko makontour yung part na yan. I bring it very close to my hairline. Para ma-frame yung face. And then last sa nose. Sobrang konti na last na. Ganun lang. Diba nag-ano na tayo kanina? Yung concealer natin kanina nalagay ko here and here. So that will act as my highlight. Para ma-define ko din yung nose ko. I mean, since you're already contouring, might as well. Dagdag mo na tong step na to. Hindi ako gumagawa ng solid na line na pag ganon. For everyday look. Going back to your powder brush again. Yung kinontour mo sa jawline. You have to make sure na ibublend mo din siya sa neck. Love Me More by For You Too Cosmetics. Tried and tested ko na din tong blush na to. Ang tagal din. The whole day din siya nagsistay sa akin. This blush is super pigmented also. Kaya you have to be careful with it. I place the blush here. Tapos I sweep it that way. Oh, I nilalagay ko. Nagsa-start pa lang ako dito. And then I end about here. Kasi pag inabot mo na siya dito, parang magmumukhang malaki yung cheeks mo. Eh, tinatry kong i-ganon yung face ko. And then extend pa ganon. So, yung illusion. If you have a round face like me, huwag mo ipapaabot yung blush mo here. Parang magmumukhang puro pisngi kang ganon. Okay, on a regular day, magmamascara na ako. Pero since I'm doing a tutorial, gagawa, mag-eyeliner ako and magta-type line. Okay, so I use two eyeliners. Perez na maybe high impact eyeline tattoo eyeliner. Ito, so nagsa-start ako sa outer third ng eyes. Doon ko lang siya nilalagay. It's super close to your lash line. The reason kung bakit dalawa yung eyeliner na gusto kong gamitin is because this one is felt tip. Super pigmented, that's why I like it a lot. And sobrang, ano din siya, it's waterproof and matagal din siya naglalast sa eyes. Pero, this one is brush tip. Sobrang fine ng pagline niya. Oops, ang pangat ng pag-swatch. Ito yung ginagamit kong eyeliner for the tip na gumagawa ng maliit na flick. See? Mas madali kasi for me gumamit ng brush tip, lalo na dun sa paggawa ng sharp na line kesa sa felt tip. Pero mas gusto ko yung formula nito. That's why I use both. Okay, it's hard to tight line. Nang malayo yung mirror. So, I'll try my best. I like tight lining my eyes kasi nagmumukhang makapal yung lashes. Okay, next is mascara. Dry up, nag-dry up na yung favorite mascara ko, yung, which is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. And this is my all-time favorite. Little Temptations Waterproof Mascara. Okay lang naman siya, pero mas prefer ko yung Lash Paradise. Pero this one's almost the same. 
Pero grabe din yung pagka-waterproof na ito. Kasi kailangan mo ng oil cleanser to remove this. I'm going to mix two um, colors for today. This is from Sunny's Face in the shade B Day or Birthday B Day. Ilalagay ko siya sa outer part and then I'm gonna feather it out. This is from Peach C in the shade Actually, hindi ko maalala kung yung shade nito. Korean kasi yung nakalagay sa ilalim. So, this step is optional. Highlighter. This is from Wet n Wild. Precious Petals. Tip ng nose. Dito sa chin din. Again, to elongate the face. Pero not too much. And then, a little bit sa bridge ng nose. If you want to be extra, wear a lip gloss. This one is from BLK Cosmetics. And it's their mini sparkle gloss in the shade Diamond. Last step is setting spray. I'm going to use Beauty Mist by Anne Clutes from Lux Organics. See, sobrang fine no? And that's it. I'm done. I guess that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Bye!